What grinds your gears? What grinds my gears is people not being able to make a goddamn decision when they walk into a fast food restaurant. Yes, that that is um very predicament thing. <laughs> um, so I I was recently, uh, you know, with all the fast food places recently opening up their doors, uh, to actually have sit downs. Yeah. Um, uh, people people forget apparently what menus look like. Uh, because I was, I, it wasn't, you know what, you think it happened once, I was like, oh, it was just a fluke. But no, this happened four different occasions. Really? Not, not two, not three, but four fucking different occasions. Two were at McDonald's, one was at Wendy's, and one was at Burger King. Uh, no, sorry, not Burger King, uh, Taco Bell. See, I can, and... I can see Taco Bell, I can see Wendy's, but McDonald's? What else would you get at oh, McDonald's? Oh, oh. Well, I have I have three main choices when I go into a uh, uh, at least in, when I go into a fast food burger place. It's either a quarter pounder, or or uh, a chicken sandwich, or I, I just if I want something small, I get, end up getting like chicken nuggets. Uh, All right. But that's what that, that but that would be for if it was for McDonald's, right? So I'm going to McDonald's. The people in front of me, uh, they just seem bewildered at the fact that the menus uh or or digital like they were staring at us just like oh my god oh like they've never seen it before what? well because you know how some uh, I, I know the one at burger king does it it transitions screens oh yeah or like uh, it, it, it has like it, you press on one thing and then it just goes to another n- no 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 not on that but like uh, when you go over if you go over to like where the guy is with the register you look above them and the screen is digital uh, that that will transition sometimes into like a special that they're doing, and then and maybe that'll hold for like five, maybe ten seconds. Oh, and they switch uh, and be like, wait, and, no, and, what and, was and, that? and then they switch, and then it goes back to the ma- real menu, and they just seem so befuddled that they couldn't read a menu for longer than about thirty seconds because the main menu holds for about a minute, <laughs> and then it goes into a. Uh, a deal that they're going to for at most 10 seconds and then it goes back to the menu for another minute it it was and the people i was in front of the first time i'm like this has to be a joke right am i am i like on a set of impractical because this this shit is just a joke (laughs) yeah so the thing is they go up they go up to the guy and he and they go, excuse me, but we're having a hard time picking what we want. And now, if you ever know a McDonald's employee, there is two functions to a registered McDonald's employee. Is, would you like extra fries with that? <laughs> or, yes, okay, sir. Um, that That's the two functions of, of a, a 16-year-old r- working at a register at McDonald's. Um... <laughs> And this kid is just like, uh, so now I, I'm, I'm standing behind them. They only have one register open. Now that's how you know it's a disaster <laughs> though. Like when it's just one register, then you're just screwed. And I, I'm, I'm, I'm just standing there. I, I like, cause I, I only have an hour for when I go, uh, uh to dinner. Uh-huh. Um, well, it's really a half hour, but they give me a little extra time just to eat. Um, so I'm standing online behind these, apparently a crow magnet who've never seen a digital menu before. Uh, so they're going, we can't read the menu for too long. We're having a hard time picking what we want. Is there any way you can just tell us the menu? And I'm just, I'm standing there with my jaw to the goddamn floor going this, you just asked a 16 year old kid uh to tell an entire mcdonald's menu this kid doesn't even know what he has to take a test on tomorrow let alone what the menu is for mcdonald's yes let's go through each one thing from the dollar menu specifically yeah it's it, like, it from the side from the sides to the meals let's just go and he just go. The kid literally just went like, "Look, I, I I could tell you everything on the menu, but honestly, I rather just not." 
So, you go, so, so, so what ended up happening was this guy just ends up being like, can I just get a hamburger? It's just like, here you go. And the mom was just like, yeah, can I just get one too? And then they had like a, um, maybe the kid was like seven or eight. So... And, you know, they all end up just getting basic bitch hamburgers with a, with a drink on the side. Can I have a cheeseburger with no cheese? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I, you know, you know, for a, for a while, that was actually a roundabout way to getting a, a uh, dollar off your meal. Wait, really? For, for oh yeah, I remember when I was little, uh, McDonald's did a it was a I, sorry it was fifty cents, uh, because burgers were were a dollar fifty, and cheeseburgers or sorry uh, that was reverse cheeseburgers were a dollar fifty. And burgers were a dollar. Oh, and then you'd be like, "I want no cheese." And you get fifty cents. Be like, yeah, and, and, and it would be like, <laughs> yeah, they were dollar cheeseburgers. God. And you'd just be like, "Yeah, could I just not have them <laughs> with cheese?" And yeah, you essentially got a meal for free. Um, it, it, I, I say meal. I mean, for like a kid, like what, yeah, like for six it, or seven. Yeah, one bite is one meal. I mean, now I could just wolf down eight of those, but whatever. But no, it, it's McDonald's. Where it's, it, like it's really McDonald's. Shady. It's I. I don't give a shit. It's McDonald's. I can't get mad uh, at employees that it, they they clearly don't want to work there. So I can't get mad at that. But I think that's for every. What uh, I can fast What I place. can get mad at McDonald's at is their shitty layout uh, for the restaurants. I hate the layout of McDonald's. Well, like, uh, it, let me explain. Uh, you and I live one live by one that's really close that's by, right. and it's yeah. a default. It's a default restaurant. There's nothing really too inherently wrong with it. Oh, but yeah. there's one a little bit more as a ways that absolutely makes me want to tear my eyes out. <laughs> there, it goes when you first walk in. It's an immediate eye store. Because, you know, you normally you have the McDonald's arches when you first walk in the door. You see the McDonald's arches, and then, you know, the menu's all, you know, they got all the arches everywhere. Yeah. And they end up, they, they completely change the color scheme inside. It's like this brick, this brick amber with, like, a yellow, like, with the McDonald's yellow. And it's just this red-yellow combination that just doesn't look good. So it's an immediate, uh, immediate eyesore when you walk in. It's like my eyes, and then you just it, fall. It, no, really, really, it's my eyes. <laughs> uh, um, so uh, on on top of the incompetent workers, but like I said, I can't, I can't get too mad at the workers. Um, somebody decided to lay out the tables where they tried to fit as many tables as they could into essentially um i'm trying to make a good comparison but it, it, they're just so tightly packed that uh essentially if you had two people sitting back to back you might as well do side do um <laughs> there's it, some square it, dancing in the middle no, no seriously it's so compact you might as well be square dancing with them <laughs> uh, seriously two tables of four can lead into shindig um wow it was so so uh, tightly packed I, I was with two of my other friends and they were just they were just like we can't even enjoy eating it's just, just so many people and because it was so many people it was like well now it's stupidly hot where i can't even enjoy my food so we're, we're like screw this i might as well just eat in the car that's what we ended up doing wow that kind of sucks, though. Yeah, yeah, and I don't, I don't know whose idea it was. Like they had to fit in all those tables, but you could have easily have gotten rid of uh, two or three of them, and been totally okay. Uh, even then, I would still say it would be compact, but at least it'd be breathable. Wow, that's and it, and apparently it was it was a loaded McDonald's. A lot of people seemed to go there because even when we went, we had a hard time finding a table. And when we finally sat down, we couldn't even enjoy our food. There's too many people just breathing down you, like, like. 
yeah, yeah, <sighs> no, these these uh, like the mouth breathers. <laughs> the the mouth breathers that are there are just it, absolutely overwhelming. Uh, it was it was just a bad time overall. Yeah, that, that does that does really suck though. That that would grind it, my gears. It, it that 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 definitely grinds my gears, and uh, it, this this leads into an even bigger problem: people <laughs> just being super goddamn indecisive. I know this goes back onto the menu thing, but it's just the people just don't know how to decide things. Um. You know, it, it's fine to think about certain situations, like uh, if you're picking, like if you're picking up, oh, you know, uh, burgers at a supermarket, right? You you don't you want to you want to get the right kind of burgers, so yeah. you sit and think about it for a moment, and then you go, all right, the burgers I, I was looking for isn't here, but these are a close second, you know. Uh, but no, you'll have the people, I, I was at a supermarket uh, a couple weeks ago and I was picking up hamburgers and you could see where this is leading already. Oh yeah. I can um, see it from so, a mile so away. So the guy, the guy was standing in front of the hamburgers, uh, and now I'm like, all right, well, how long is it going to take a few seconds? He probably already knows the guy. So he opens up the freezer door. And he's just staring at the list. He's he's scanning up and down the thing, and it, uh, it, it's like, all right, just pick your burger. If it's not there, you should have known it by now. Now, it, now it, it's their third time coming around, looking up and down the goddamn aisles by the shelf, and uh, he still hasn't picked anything yet. So you know, I try to worm my way in there. And he's just not even getting the hint that somebody's behind them. And he's so like, what the I'm fuck? Like, so, you know, whatever. I, I go down a few more. I pick up uh, some frozen vegetables. And then, you know, I go down to, to pick up the burger. He's still fucking choosing with the door open. The door's open. <laughs> so, I think all the cold I'm like, this guy you. can't be fucked for fucking real. Right? Yeah. And I'm... I'm trying to keep my composure in front of this guy and now he, he he's physically getting frustrated because he's clearly looking for one brand that the uh, the store didn't have i'm, I'm at stop and shop by the way I'm yeah because the stop and shop they actually have uh different and places for different burgers my voice is already getting no fucking no you're good destroyed yeah. but um, um i know like at least for he, he shop, finally but... takes something off the shelf and I go, my God, it took him over probably four to five minutes to choose a hamburger. He just wants a the burger. Of all goddamn things. Okay. Yeah, no, so my, my, uh, the, the thing that pissed me off is he had the freezer door open the whole time. He's letting all the cold the air out. Uh, for five minutes, he was just staring at burgers, and then he eventually just chose one. I'm like, God damn, dude! <laughs> yeah, because I know it's at the Shop and Stop. They actually have like two different places for burgers. Like they have like the like the chopped meat that you can get to make the burgers. Then they have like yeah, the no, patties that they make the, themselves. Yeah, this is our section down the aisle. Yeah, yeah. This is like aisle one frozen stuff. God. And then you also have the um, what is it? The Beyond Meat or whatever it's called, like the plant stuff. That's oh, actually yeah, in a different the, the Impossa Burger stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I I think it's I would definitely buy stuff like that. But have you ever seen the price tag on those things? Yeah, those are expensive. Like you have to get those on sale. I they're almost never on sale. I've I've never seen them on sale. Come to think of it. I know. Um, what is it? Either ShopRite or Wayfair, they usually have them on sale, like, every other week. Uh, uh, at least in store, I've never seen them. Oh. But, uh... Oh, it, you know it, you know what really grinds my fucking gears with stores? <laughs> uh, uh, stores that only have sales for certain card holders. Yes, that's um, so annoying. 
So, uh, like, you're you're having a sale, but only for the people that go to your store regularly. Why? Like, it screws everyone else over. Why? I oh yeah oh you're thanking them for using your store, but like I could only get a card once and never come back to your store again. Like that doesn't that doesn't make you a better store. You just have a deal that I want for one specific item. Yeah, it's like what's like, the point? Like th- that doesn't do anything. That makes me want to go to your store less. Like, I, because I, I, don't... I can go around to every supermarket right now, right? And go, yeah. hey, can I sign up for this? Hey, can I sign up for this? Hey, can I sign up? And never go to them. I, I, I ended up going to fucking Trader Joe's about 25 minutes out. Because Trader Joe's actually actually has decent prices. That's surprising, too, because they're usually expensive. It, it depends. It depends. I, I it sometimes it depends on what you get. Like their cereals are okay, but a lot of their frozen stuff is um, a lot of them is pricey. It's not too pricey. No, I mean it's not like Impossible Burger stuff, but uh, it 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 can get expensive. It I've I've gone there. I've spent over a hundred fifty dollars easily just going to Trader Joe's. <laughs> well, what do you get there? This is um, around the topic. What what do I get there? Uh, funny enough, a lot of it's for Amanda. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, so I end up getting a lot of stuff for her, like uh, some of the cereals. I get some of like the frozen mac and cheese. Uh, her parents like uh, <laughs> a lot of things. So yeah, I end up just getting a bunch of random gubbins. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a fan of their produce. Like the produce there is actually nice. Oh yeah, the produce is fine. Uh, they're fresh cold cuts. They have fresh cheeses, which I'm a fan of. Oh yeah. Um, so that, that good cheese. Fan. Uh, uh, not even good. Uh, just their actual, the the legit real fresh mozzarella, uh, mm. not not the quote unquote fresh mozzarella you'll get at uh, regular supermarkets, but actual real mozzarella. Well, they have the like, the, the balls, right? They they actually uh, yeah they have together. they have an, they they have the container of mozzarella balls, uh, but they also have the sheer bricks of them. Oh, um, yeah, I know they, they have, have the Metsu's. Yeah, they have them at st- yeah, the mozzarella balls. Also have at stews. I, I I I can't attest for Steen Lanyard's mozzarella balls. I don't know how fresh they are, but I know the Trader Joe's ones are actual fresh mozzarella balls. Yeah, no, st- stews is fresh. Unfortunately, right. <laughs> this is a shitty place. I mean, it's I gotten mean, worse. You 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 work there, so I yeah, used, yeah, I used to work good. there, but it, as I was leaving, they're going yeah. down and down and down. They barely have any customers going to that store now. So I'm glad uh, that I left. You, you know what's weird? I went into a Stu Leonard's the other day, and it, I mean, it didn't seem slow. It's probably the East Meadow one, because the East Meadow one is a lot more better than uh, the Farmerdale one. Oh, is it? Oh, yeah. Okay. See, yeah, I, I went to the East Meadow one. Uh, we just happened to be going by, and we're like, hey, you want to stop here? And I'm like, yeah, sure, fuck it, why not? Yeah, it's just so bad now. I feel I feel bad for them, but at the same time, I really don't. Hey, look that that Stu Leonard's took over Dave and Buster's, which I'm not a fan of. So hey, uh, I'll take Dave and Buster's over Stu Leonard's. True, Dave and Buster's will always beat Stu's. Don't you forget it. Big facts, big facts. Uh, uh <laughs> you know, I the thing is, I get I could easily go into rants about uh, Dave and Buster's though. Um, yeah, not, I, I not... had a grind of my gears moment at uh, Dave and Buster's once. What was it? Waiting on a line for a game? Unfortunately, yes. <laughs> I, 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 you know why? Because that's everyone's problem with Dave and Buster's. But I have certain experiences that most do not. <laughs> what is um, that? I because because I am or was an employee there. I, I I have seen many of things. I have done many of things. Uh, some of which I am not proud of. But um, <laughs> not proud of. I, I I mean in the sense that uh, of being a worker, and I could say it now because I've been unemployed there from over a year now, so I could say this shit. But uh, there's just a lot of I I wouldn't call it shady because shady seems like it's illegal. It's just kind of backhanded to uh some people 
uh like when we first got our vr machine right we got um we ended up getting our like four player vr station at the uh mall closer to us um oh all right and then when we finally got that one maybe maybe a month after we had opened it uh we raised it a dollar and we were the first store to do it because originally it was five dollars and then out of nowhere they made it six and we were the first store to do it they probably just wanted to make a profit though but five dollars was the profit line that was profit but if it was a popular game then that actually makes sense though like we're trying but to like fool you guys, be like, "Hey, we really raised this a dollar," but you probably won't notice the difference. But now, but now you already had they had already raised. Although, although I could honest understand uh, doing the other one because we had recently switched to uh, full digital uh, tickets instead of the paper ones, and are the cards are RFID. Uh, this just so this way you don't have to put in the card; you can just put this card over the reader and it scans. Uh, and those cards take more technology. They're newer cards, and instead of two dollars for an activation fee, it was three. That I can understand. So you're already scamming us out of a dollar for an activation fee. And so now they want another dollar, a, a weird five dollar, uh, weird six dollars. So instead of handing us a five, now you have to find a single somewhere on top of it. God, so that's awful. So. I, I didn't like that, but whatever, business is business. So when I f- <laughs> when we got the VR machine, the the big deal, and they they stressed it so hard when I was there, uh, to use the uh, weight system. Weight system. It, it yeah. So they had a weight system, uh, inside the station to set up for the games. Uh, essentially, it was okay. This person had uh, th- they're fourth in line. Let's say, all right. They put a name for a party, whoever it was. It's like setting up for a reservation. Essentially, it's he, all right. Here's the name. It's this many people, and the cell phone number. This way, they, that they know they're up next, and they can just come to it while they play their games. Oh, that seems fair, though. The, the, it, right, it is. But they had stressed it so hard, right, that we were under the assumption that we had to use it all the time. For even if there was only one person uh, ready to go, we had to use the weight system. So Interesting. They, had put us, they had put us in, and so they go, okay... So we sit, we put first in wait list. Where, but meanwhile, nobody's there. We had to use the wait list. First in wait list. And then, okay, four people. And uh, the name. As, and then the phone number. So they put in the phone number. The wait list goes on. It's just, so, and they even ask us all the time, well, why do we got to put on, why do we have to give her your phone number if we're already here? And I, and I told them, like, honestly, I don't know. Uh, it never <laughs> That's made just any how sense. It works. <laughs> No, I think it's, that's not even how it worked because I could set it up just fine for one play. It wouldn't make a difference because they already had paid for their money up at the front desk to get their uh, arcade tickets or arcade tokens to go on the VR machine. So there's no discernible reason for me to even be on the to use a wait list. So. I'm trying to figure out why. So I asked my boss, I was like, why do we have to use this waitlist every time? And it was essentially not not to steal phone numbers, because obviously that would be illegal. But what it was is it's essentially just the system to make sure that they are active. Oh. If that makes any sense. That does make sense, actually. Um... At least to me, it makes sense. And eventually, I stopped caring, and I just did it like I normally would. Because if I, because I told him, I I told my boss, he's like, "Look, eventually, I'm gonna get to the point where I'm not gonna keep doing this, and you're just in. If you're gonna get mad at me for it, 
be mad at me, but I'm going to do it the way I'm going to do it because it works just as well, if not quicker. So I started doing it that way. And yeah, I got yelled at a few times because I wasn't doing it the right way. But honestly, it was quicker and far, far easier than having to set up a wait list every time. And then eventually other techs started doing it because they got bored of it and they stopped just doing it entirely. Um, it was just an awful, awful set of rules that they had established for I for a legit no reason. Uh, at least not by Dave and Buster's standards. Hmm. I'm surprised. But, I mean, I can't. But that's just Dave and Buster's themselves. I can go on and on and on and on and on about guests. Damn. Yeah, I I know you've you expressed a lot of Karen stories before. Oh, a, oh yeah, th- and those are just Karen stories. Those aren't just. Those aren't even dumb dumb stories. Those are just Karen stories. Yeah, but you, I can you those do too. But hold my breath. Yeah, you don't have to go too far into it. Be like, I remember that one time. I remember the time, the good old days. 